Very interesting. Look at this. Look at this rock down here, that's all jammed in that crevice. Down there as well. It's a nice location this. So we start this trip way back in the summer of 2022, where the weather was lovely and warm, and I was camping in the Yorkshire Dales, where the scenery up here is absolutely stunning. And the roads are great to drive on as well, but they can also get extremely narrow at times. And I was keen to get out to another river and do some prospecting, having found a few specks of gold in Lancashire a couple of weeks previously. So is the gold in Lancashire dead right? I've done a proper clean up now and I'll show you what we've found. I'm really impressed. And the guys here, they're impressed. We've prospected and we have found small specks of gold. So don't forget to say Lancashire. Can you see all them specks in there? Lots of very tiny gold. So this is a new river, and I'm out with a couple of friends from the last trip. Well, it's a lovely summer's day. It's the middle of July. We've got blue skies up above and it's really warm. And I've gone through one bottle of water already because it's that hot. And we're at a river in the north of England and we're in search of the good stuff. And I'm out with Anthony and Steve. And if you're wondering who Anthony and Steve are, they're the guys who put me on to finding gold in Lancashire and we found loads and loads of tiny specks of proper gold from that great county of ours. And I'm over the moon. In fact, they're over the moon too. But what we're doing today, look at the colour of that. I've never seen anything that dirty and murky in my pan before. And we've got loose bedrock. Let's see what's in there. I thought it was time to have a look at what was in the pan. And the geology at this specific area is sedimentary rock made up of sandstone, siltstone and mudstone from the Silurian period, with volcanic intrusions of felsite, which is an igneous rock, formed in the Devonian period about 400 million years ago. And so as always, on the New River we're looking for anything that's dark and heavy. We're looking for fishing weights, the black sands, if we find them, we know we're on the right line. But I think you lot know that, don't you? So there's the first test pan. Light coloured sands, that's all light material. We've got a few specks of black sand here, but there's no visible gold. Well, there was no gold in my pan, but Steve's found a nice visible speck. Come on. There you go. So are we in Cumbria? Are class as Cumbria yeah. or Yorkshire? Cumbria. Cumbria. So this is what it's all about. There's three of us out today. We can cover the ground in different areas and we've got more chances of finding gold. We've proven now that we can find gold on this river in three pans. That's really good. Well, I've just found one diddy speck and it's super duper small. You won't see it with this camera, but trust me, we've got gold in the pan. Again, Steve's found a super duper small piece. 
there. All the rocks look like they've got gold in them, don't they? We're getting gold fever again. That's why I was keen to find a piece of visible gold, like Steve had done. So I checked out this little bit of bedrock here, and you can see there's some nicely packed gravels there. And so next we flushed out the hollow with some water, got the yellow suction bottle in there, and cleared everything out. And at the bottom we found some nice pasty sediment. We've got clay on there now. We've got one diddy speck of gold, it is visible and we also found some lead weight. So there's a line here where heavies are definitely coming down the river, but one speck, it's better than nothing. So you can see in here, there's some of the black sands. There's the lead shot. And that is a little diddy speck of English gold. And maybe a diddy speck there, but you won't see that. And then Anthony said, I think I found some. Peace. There's the shadow just there. One diddy speck of English gold. <laughs> have a quick look. <laughs> so just have a quick look around. As you can see here, we've got Mother Nature's sluice box. I mean, ideally we need to probably clear that out. You never know. But it was in these nooks and crannies where we found that speck. But with it being a new river, you know, you've always got to learn it and find out what's going on. And so in the end, we all found a few micro specks of gold, which makes this river one more to tick off the list. And you see there, you focus it in. And I guess you could say that's prospecting for you. But nevertheless, we had a great day out. And when I got back to the tent, it was time to have a well-earned beer and relax in the evening sunshine, beer. ready for the next adventure. And that next adventure isn't too far away, because coming up on the next video, we're back out wild camping in Scotland at the wee Scottish Burn, where we're doing some cooking in the field and sluicing some gravels and finding some very interesting pay dirt in search of a few specks of the good stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for that one people. <laughs>